Okay, here we go. The English vowel system. Um, as you can see, the, the first thing you might notice is there are quite a lot of them. Um, in this particular version, there are 19 vowels, although you may find different numbers in different systems. But uh, 19 vowels is quite a lot of uh, vowel sounds compared to, say, Portuguese or Spanish, for example. Um, and uh, the, this diagram is organized like this. There's the uh, outer circle are the uh, long vowels. The inner circle here are the short vowels. And right here in the center is the reduced vowel, sometimes called schwa. Um, among the long vowels on the outside here, you've got at the corners, you've got the ones which are pure, monophthongs sometimes called, they don't bend very much. Whereas in the middle of each side, you've got the ones which bend halfway through, uh, sometimes called uh, diphthongs. So let me just talk you around the long vowels going in a clockwise direction. You've got here, we've got anti-clockwise, teeth, 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 air, hair, ah, arm, or, fork, er, uh, bird, Ooh, boot. You'll notice that uh, in these th four corners here, there's a little R in brackets. This means there's an optional R depending on your accent. So for example, if you have a, an American accent or a Scottish accent or an Irish accent, then you pronounce that R. And if you have a, an Australian accent or a British accent, you don't pronounce that R. Um, so your learners or, or yourself, you, you, you can go either way, it doesn't matter. So if you want to pronounce it, you'd be saying something like hair, arm, fork, and bird. Personally, I have a British accent, so I don't pronounce that R myself, an English accent. So that's the, uh, those are the long vowels and then the diphthongs in the middle of the sides look you've got uh, a face i bike ow cow o nose and oi oi coin ear ear there's the optional r again for this one ear Right there on the inner circle, in order to say these out of context, you have to make them really short, otherwise they change to the long one. So if you're demonstrating these to your students, make sure you clip them short. For example, chin, i, i, leg, e, hand, a, sock, o, duck, Foot. Ooh. So these out, out, outer circle ones, you can make them nice and long when you're demonstrating them to the students like this. E but when you're demonstrating these short ones, you have to make them very short. You could just repeat them like this. E, e, e. Um, this one, by the way, the schwa, the reduced vowel, you can't demonstrate this out of context. You need to deal with this in context. In fact, we won't deal with the schwa in this week's episode on vowels. We're going to deal with it later in connected speech. Um, now, about the way it's organized. Basically, it's facing in this direction. So these are produced at the front of the mouth and these at the back. And these at the top of the mouth and these with the mouth more open. So let me show you what I mean. You say e, e, 
your mouth is relatively closed, your jaw. Whereas if you say, ah, look, you can see right inside my mouth. So as you go down from e your mouth, your jaw is opening. So these ones at the top are with the jaw more closed and these ones at the bottom with the jaw more open. Then the front and the back dimension. Here, e your tongue is actually near the front of your mouth. E ooh, and here, ooh, the tongue actually moves a bit back, although you can't see that, of course, if you put your finger on your tongue, on the end of your tongue and do it, you can see that your finger goes in. E so, but there's something you can see, and that's roundness. With the, uh, on this side, you've got the uh, lips spread like that, e, whereas over here, the lips go round. Ooh. So that's more useful, you can see that. So those are, that's um, more rounded at the back. This is more rounded here. Um, one exception, these two here, which are in purple color look, these actually are central vowels. They have no position, they're right in the middle. So really they should be sticking out of the middle vertically out towards you. But since that wasn't possible on this diagram, I've just put them here. So these two are central vowels, as we'll come to in the live lesson. So uh, I hope you can rem remember some of what I told you, and, uh, and we'll talk about it a bit more in the live lesson on Sunday. <laughs>